Hey Math31, Miss A here. I had a question on section 3.1, number 77. And this is saying graph this equation on this domain and let's see what the range is. So let me go over my y equals, clear out what I have here, and let's put in x squared. And I'm going to hit zoom 6. And I always say if you're dealing with a math problem, go zoom 6. And let's look at the domain here, negative 10 to 10. So if you go to your window, you are set in the x direction from negative 10 to 10, but we aren't sure if our range is correct because they're giving us the domain but asking us for the range. So let me go back to my graph, and I have a suspicion that if I'm going from negative 10 to 10 in the x direction that my y's are a little higher. So let's, let's test it out. So if I want to figure out the y value when x is 10, or 10 or negative 10, but hit second calc or second in the trace button, but it'll activate the calculate the calculation screen. And let's just plug in a value. So if I plug in negative 10, you see I'm getting 100 there for my y value. And if I plug in the other end of my domain, my given domain, 10, I get again 100. Well, if I go back to my window, you can see that my y max is only 10, so I'm not seeing all of it. So let me go ahead and put this at 100, and then I'm gonna hit graph. Anytime you alter your zoom six window, just hit graph, because if I hit zoom six again, it's gonna reset this to 10. So when I hit graph, well there, now I can sure enough, I can see it. And if you wanna get really technical, you don't actually need this little part down here, right? If I wanted to, I don't need the y min to be at negative 10. I could actually, if I just wanted all of it in there, I could just set it to zero, because you can imagine you've got a parabola that the lowest point is at that origin, zero, zero, at that vertex. So that really is the window for viewing the range. So the window for viewing the range is a y min of zero and a y max of 100. That would be the bare minimum you needed. You could always expand that. But if you had zero to 100 on the, the y min and max, you would see the entire range. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.